Hi everyone, thanks for joining me again. Tonight we are heading into town to check out the nightlife and some of the best bars to visit on this beautiful little island. I want to answer one question whilst I'm here. Do you think, do you think, Jen, yeah, is a lady boy or a little boy? <laughs> no, no. no Pete just told you she's not a lady boy. The night is young, keep watching. During the day, Ko Chang is your perfect holiday destination with its beautiful white sandy beaches and amazing surrounding countryside with so much to see and do. When the sun goes down and sets over the horizon, the lights come on and this little island takes on a whole new dimension. My first port of call tonight is the Kiss Bar, literally a stone's throw away from the hotel where I'm staying, the Bumiyama. This is a perfect little bar for my first drink before I head on to my next destination. My next port of call is the Dirty Bar. This little reggae style bar is absolutely perfect if you're into your live music and definitely well worth a visit. If you're looking for a small family bar with a great pool table, somewhere you can just chill out, have a few drinks and a few games of pool, then the Riverstone Bar is definitely one for you. Moving on gracefully down Lonely Beach High Street, this is Mike's Bar. He's only been over for a couple of months, but if you like your board games and just chilling out and having a chat, then definitely well worth a visit. My next port of call is the X Bar. This hippie style little bar has normally got a great DJ playing and quite often got a lovely barbecue going too. So I'm gonna stop here for another quick drink and grab myself something to eat. My next and final stop for Lonely Beach is the Bar Mau House. If you're looking for an authentic traditional Thai bar, then you don't get any more traditional than this. Playing traditional Thai music and the owners and the people running it are absolutely fantastic. Probably more suitable for the older generation, but this bar is definitely worth a visit. Give me banana. Big banana, not small banana.
My next stop on this wonderful night out is Kai Bay Walking Street. And this, my friends, is where it starts to get a little bit messy. <laughs> visit in Kai Bay Walking Street is Yak Yak Bar. The owner of this bar is actually a DJ so if you like your house music and pumping out sounds then this is definitely one for you. I'm going to visit on Kai Bay Walking Street is Shat's Bar. This bar is full of life, always something happening. great pool table if you like your pool then this is definitely the place for you but don't underestimate the girls because they are excellent pool players and they will whip your ass If you are in the area, pop in and see Sam. He actually owns this bar. He's a true Brit and an absolute legend. Really makes you feel welcome. If you are into your live music, you won't be disappointed. There are a few bars around here that do have some great bands playing. Oh dear, there's always one, isn't there? Go on, my son, show them how it's done. Oi, you don't have to do that here. Just pay the bar fine and she'll come back to your hotel with you. <laughs> Before we leave Kai Bay Walking Street and head off to our next destination, there's one more bar I'd like to show you and this bar is well worth knowing about. Inside Chats Bar, you'll see this door. And this door actually leads to another bar. Before two o'clock in the morning, this bar will be empty. And the reason why is because come two o'clock to half past two in the morning, when all the other bars are closing down and there's not a lot left open, this bar comes alive because all the staff and everyone goes here. And it's open all night. Moving on gracefully, we leave Kai Bay Walking Street behind and head off to our next destination. This is White Sands Beach Resort. It's a little bit bigger than Kai Bay and Lonely Beach and it also has quite a lot more bars to choose from. This will be my last port of call on this wonderful night out. As I am sure you will appreciate, I am actually starting to get a little bit over intoxicated. We are quitting until the fucking sun comes up. Sun do you think, do you think, Jen? Yeah, is a ladyboy or a woman? <laughs> no, so she's just told you she's not a ladyboy. Wow, what a great night. I am absolutely smashed, so excuse me if I'm slurring my words and look a little bit 
FYI, probably because I am. Happy days. This is Chef Travels. Thanks very much for watching. Hopefully, see you on the next one. Cheers.